Hi, my name is Stephen George. I am here with Dr. Carrie Chiapino of uh, Brain Corps New York. Uh, her practice is located in Smithtown, New York. But I believe, uh, Dr. Chiapino, you're also uh, associated with some other practices and things which you can explain. Uh, today we're talking about what causes insomnia uh, and specifically how insomnia is linked to the brain and ways that you can use unique alternative and drug-free therapies to address the symptoms of insomnia uh, in order to hopefully get a better night's rest. So, uh, Dr. Chiapino, if you want to you know, introduce yourself and, and then sort of, if you can give us a background onto the S of the causes of insomnia and, um, you know, how the brain affects the way we get a good, night, good night's sleep or not, that'd be awesome. Sure thing. So, of course, there's many causes to insomnia, um, but the one that we see in our practice quite often is when people have a challenge with their brainwave patterns. So, a healthy brain is able to shift gears all day long. So, you know, when we go to sleep, we want our brain waves to slow down. When we want to pay attention, we want our brain waves to speed up. But sometimes we can just get stuck in one gear or another, and this can create challenges. Specifically with insomnia, what we see is we see that a person has too many of the fast brain waves. And just about anybody that you talk to that suffers from insomnia will tell you, you know, the minute they lay their head on the pillow, they can't stop thinking. Their brain is constantly going. They're not able to shut things off. And so this is a very common cause um, of insomnia. Um, with neurofeedback therapy, we're able, specifically with brain core, we're able to change that. We're able to help the brain come to uh, a, a better, a more normal state of regulation, which means when they lay, the, lay their head on the pillow, they're able to fall asleep. Cool. And so, yeah, let's dive into that a little bit then, as far as neurofeedback and how you're able to, um, you know, change those brain patterns and especially the fast uh, brain activity, you know, so how does neurofeedback work that it's able to effectively address uh, that? Well, the first thing that we would do is we would do something called a QEEG. And a QEEG is um, basically a technology that allows us to measure the brain wave patterns in different parts of the brain. Um, if we see that a patient has insomnia and is stuck in this higher brainwave pattern, then we would say that they would be a good candidate to respond to neurofeedback. What neurofeedback actually is, what BrainCore actually does, is we put two sensors on the scalp, and as a patient is lying there, relaxing, watching a movie, the minute they, move, they shift their brain from the higher brainwave pattern to the lower brainwave pattern, their brain gets rewarded by the movie screen becoming bright. The minute they start to get excited or, or increase their brain waves, then the movie gets dark. So the brain learns through operating conditioning to keep that that screen bright. Um, operating conditioning is the good old Pavlov's dogs that we learned about in, in high school psychology. It's just a way for the brain to be rewarded for, um, for producing a specific brainwave pattern. The good news is with neurofeedback is because we're not putting a stimulus into the brain or doing some kind of treatment to the brain where we're manipulating the brain um, by, by putting an electrical current in it or something like that, or even like with medications, taking medications affects the whole brain, right? right. Um, with neurofeedback, we're just giving the brain feedback so it can make its own new connections. So new connections in the brain is called neuroplasticity. You're just basically training it to take a different pathway so that when you lay on your, your, your pillow at night, you're able to slow down your brain effectively and get a restorative night's sleep, which is so important for, I mean, if people don't sleep, they don't repair their body well. So sleep, you know, sleep deprivation has been linked to so many things that really finding a non-invasive solution to insomnia, which we have found with, with brain core therapy, has been, you know, a, a, a precious asset to our patients. <laughs> sure. 
Um, is there, so is there much research on neurofeedback and insomnia, and, and has it really been studied at all to, to look at the efficacy of neurofeedback? Yes, it has been studied, and it has very positive results. I will tell you clinically in my own practice, it's one of the things that we see change pretty quickly. Um, so out of all the conditions that can be treated with neurofeedback, these states of brainwave dysregulation, insomnia is one of the things that changes the quickest. Wow, that's really cool. Mm -hmm. um, perfect. Well, if you want to learn more about neurofeedback and brain core, uh, mm -hmm. you can go to braincoreny.com, um, specifically with Dr. Schiapino, who's in uh, Smithtown, New York. Uh, it's You can look up New Life Wellness Center from uh, Brain Core New York there. And um, Dr. Uh, Schiapino, do you, you have a um, another website as well, right, where people can also go? Yes, uh, our, our own website is newlifechiropractic.com, and I am located in Smithtown and New York City um, on the Upper West Side. Uh, but certainly Brain Core New York website has quite a few um, excellent research articles. It's an excellent resource for our patients. Awesome. There are Brain Core clinics actually all over Long Island, so if Smithtown's not close to you, certainly take a look at that website, and they can direct you to the closest clinic. Absolutely, and that's braincoreny.com again. So, um, perfect. Well, Dr. Shapino, thank you so much for taking a few moments to speak with me and talk about these causes of insomnia. Um, you know, I think it's some really interesting information, and obviously neurofeedback is such a exciting and kind of unique alternative therapy to the medications and drugs and, and other kind of stimulations that seem like maybe they would be either could be dangerous or even you know counterproductive to what you're trying to accomplish. Totally, totally. All right, well, thank you so much. Thank you so much. All right, bye-bye.